Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. LeBron James's 18-year-old son, Bronny James, which is LeBron James Jr. Obviously, you get it. I was very confused about why anybody would name their child Bronny, and then I connected all the dots. Felt like an idiot. But anyway, we move on. Bronny went to prom last weekend, and apparently, I care about it. And I think you guys are going to care about it, too, because people online have lost their damn minds, and we're going to talk about that today. Before we do, though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you have not already, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section or off-the-clock episode. So this is Bronny right here with LeBron. Oh. This is him playing basketball in high school. He just committed to USC and will be playing basketball for them. And LeBron has always said that he wants to play in the NBA with his son. And they are definitely getting closer and closer to that because Bronny is a senior in high school. And people have speculated that this is the plan as LeBron gets closer to retirement. I was reading this earlier. The LeBron plan seems to be this. Play next season with the Lakers while Bronny is nearby at USC. Bronny goes to the NBA after one season, even though he might not be a first round pick. LeBron then joins the team, which picks Bronny for one season, likely his last as an NBA professional. LeBron would mentor Bronny on that team and give his son the best possible hands-on education before walking away from the game as a player following the 24-25 NBA season. I'm just so excited for everybody to get a whiff of this and start screaming about nepotism, but I was talking with my team about this, and I don't even know if they would scream about nepotism in regards to LeBron James, because usually when people are angry about nepo babies, it's in regards to white families, and so I don't know if you get some kind of exemption here, but even though I have a bitter taste in my mouth about LeBron because he is basically just like a walking propaganda billboard these days. This is very cool. Like the fact that his son will get this kind of hands-on mentorship and that his father is wanting to like elongate his career in order to be there for his son. Arguably, that is very cool, even though I think that LeBron these days is very much of a tool. But anyway, back to prom, which is why we are all here, apparently. Much more interesting than the NBA. Go team! Go sports! Bronny is about to graduate, so this is his last prom, and he took a girl named Peyton. She is 19, she went to high school with him, they went to prom together last year as well, but she is a year older than him. She just finished her freshman year at SMU, where she's an honor student in Dallas. And here's the picture that went viral. Like, they look great. They also look Look so old, which I think is just normal for high schoolers these days. Everybody looks like they're in their 30s, probably because people my age are getting Botox now, which is so weird. We have an episode about that if you want to listen to it, but they look great. It literally looks like they are about to walk the red carpet compared to most people going to prom, but he's also the son of a celebrity. So what do you expect? He was also posing in front of a Porsche in some of the other photos, which I don't think most regular high schoolers are doing, but I didn't think anything of it, obviously, because it's prom. I'm not going to do an episode about prom, but then I started seeing the comments. They are angry at Bronny James because he took a white girl to prom. And these are the people that tell us that we are racist. Like it's asinine. Jack Mack obviously did a TikTok about it, so I've got to feature that. You guys know he's my favorite TikToker. You want to see why being famous is a curse? Go to the replies of this tweet or just search Bronny James on Twitter today. They are cooking this man for his prom date. They're having a societal conversation about his prom date. You guys are some weirdos. It's prom. Prom. Good green line test though, Bronny. <laughs> That's all he cares about. He obviously had to throw the green line test in there. Jack is like the king of the green line test. If you don't know what it is, the green line test is measuring whether the man is standing up straight and the woman is leaning into him or whether the woman is like up straight and pulling him in. A great example is Jada Pinkett Smith always is standing up straight, always has Will Smith like grabbed into her. And we know the relationship dynamics in that family. So I think that makes sense. But anyway, moving on, somebody commented under that and said, bitter people never take a day off. That's basically just the internet in a nutshell. Somebody else said, lots of adults having discourse about a high school relationship, odd behavior for real, for real. That's also very normal, sadly. Somebody else said, it mainly be 30 plus year old single women in high schoolers business. My guess is the majority of these commenters are just sitting behind their computer screens and they're very single and they're lonely and they're bitter and they're probably, you know, just have a bunch of cats and maybe some fur babies that they think is an equivalent to having children. I actually, I have dogs, but I don't call them my fur babies. And you guys know that I love my dogs and I definitely want them to be as healthy as possible. And that is why I love my sponsor, Rough Greens, so much. Naturopathic Dr. Dennis Black, the founder of Rough Greens, is focused on improving the health of every dog in America. Rough Greens is a supplement that contains all the necessary vitamins, minerals, probiotics, omega oils, digestive enzymes, and antioxidants that your dog needs. And you guys know my dogs eat a raw diet, but you do not have to go to those links. You do not have to deal with the cost of that or the mess because it is disgusting. All you need to do is just sprinkle rough greens on their food every single day. Just taking that step will put you leagues ahead of where you were and will put you leagues ahead in regards to your dog's health. Dog owners everywhere are raving about rough greens. It supports healthy joints, improves bad breath, boosts energy levels, and so much more.
are specifically and i've said this before because i have two doodles the biggest thing that i've noticed since using rough greens is how amazing tater and rocky's coats look and of course this makes sense because we are what we eat and that goes for dogs too the team over at rough greens is so confident that their product will improve your dog's health that they are offering my viewers a free jumpstart trial bag so that your dog can try it this should be a no-brainer and a free jumpstart trial bag can be at your door in just a few business days so if you want to try them out go to free roughgreens.com slash brett or call 877-66-MY-DOG again that is free roughgreens.com slash brett 877-66-MY-DOG you can call that number seriously guys no brainer go get it it's free try it your dogs deserve to get the best food possible they'll love it but anyway let's go back to twitter i want to see the actual post the daily loud post about them has over 60 million views prom guys it's about prom now one person photoshopped them into the get out poster <laughs> which is just so bad. If you guys have seen Jordan Peele's Get Out, you get it. Somebody said, Bronny is an equal opportunist. Another person said, La Snow Bronny, because snow bunnies. Mm. Somebody else said, this ain't it. Bron has built a million dollar portfolio of generational wealth. He needs to make sure it's not inherited by an all white family 100 years from now. His son is literally just going to prom with somebody. It's not that big of a deal. Everybody needs to calm the F down. Somebody else said, damn, he sold out early. It's not selling out to go to prom with who you want. It's not selling out to date somebody of another race. I thought that's what we had been fighting for, for years now, for decades, fighting for the right for these people to be able to go to prom together. Now we need to regress? I don't understand. These people confuse me on a daily basis. Like I thought that we were fighting against racism. I thought that you were just saying two weeks ago that the royal family was too white and needed more diversity. But when a black man, a teenager, takes a white girl to prom literally being diverse, Y'all lose your shit and you say that he's a traitor to his own race. It does not make sense. You are not consistent. That's the common thread in every one of my episodes. You're not consistent. Daily Mail wrote an entire article about this because he got so much flack online and they pulled even more troll comments that I didn't see initially. One person said, what's up with these athletes liking these white girls? Bronny need him a black queen. Somebody else said, I know y'all are gonna be mad, but I wish he chose a black queen. Somebody else said, Bronny, you better not. You know she don't want anything but the money. Another person said, Bronny, you can do better than that. Well, look at your mom and dad. Come on, not a good look. Congratulations on your graduation. Another person said, and this was like the most intense one, very disappointing, shameful, love yourself and your culture. He's 18. It's prom. How many times can I say that? Give it up. It's really not that big of a deal. Go touch grass or something. Get offline. You are all chronically online because you are so invested in an 18 year old relationship. We don't even know if they're actually dating. They've just gone to prom together twice. It's so absurd. And obviously, even though he is 18, Ronnie has grown up in the spotlight. I'm sure he is used to the scrutiny and the attention, but this girl is not. She's not a celebrity and people have started attacking her on her own page. Somebody said another snow bunny that wants money. Uh, one person said, black men will never cease to surprise me. Somebody else said, Bronny can do better. She is so mid. Like that's absolutely uncalled for. Again, get a life. These are young people. They're 18 and 19 years old. They're just trying to go to prom and you guys are being absolutely ridiculous. Thankfully, though, a lot of people were coming to their defense because this was all wholly inappropriate and contradictory to everything we've been taught for the last three years about diversity and inclusion and equity and loving one another. And then, guys, remember how I said at the beginning, he went to prom with her last year as well. And apparently the same thing happened in 2022. This is the second iteration of this. People are angry at him again. Robert Griffin III came to his defense last year with this video, and it kind of sums up how I feel, so I want to feature this because it's very on point. Bronny James upset a lot of miserable people tonight because he decided to take a white girl to prom as his date. First of all, it's 2022. What's wrong with that? He can take an avatar to prom for all I care. Who he chooses is who he chooses. And secondly, it's given weird energy that a bunch of grown men and women, 40-year-old men and women, are trying to tell a 17-year-old who they think he should bring to prom. It's literally reverse racism. We've spent the last three years hearing all of this anti-racist BS be shoved down our throats saying, you're so racist, you're so awful. And then I turn around and they're doing the exact same thing to him. They're being racist towards this young woman who has done nothing wrong. We have literally gone back in time. We are resegregating our society every single day. And these people don't understand that it's wrong or they simply do not care. It actually reminds me a lot of modern day feminism because it's the same logic, but applied to race. Women say that they just want equality, that they've been oppressed. They want the same rights as men. That's all they want. But simultaneously, they tear down men. They tell them that they're awful. They say that women can always do it better. They don't need men. The patriarchy is the worst thing that's ever happened happen to the world. Like, what is it that you actually believe? Do you want equal rights or do you want to oppress the other gender or the other race? Because I think what you actually want is just to be outraged 24 seven and you're fueled by this weird mix of elitism and faux oppression. And that goes for racists too.
I hope you enjoyed this episode of the comment section and that you maybe even learned something new. If you have not already, like this video, subscribe to this channel, and of course, ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section episode.